the time I got involved, that happened quite quite strangely. Um, I know our season just kicked off in, in the top four in, as we played Leon away. I think I had a good game, uh, although it was a draw. Um, came back that Monday morning, walked up into the meeting and um, uh, William Savat, the, the forwards coach at that time, uh, just randomly came to sit next to me and he like told me, so now you can bring me some on And I just looked at him, I was like, are you nuts or something? Because our season, our season just started. Like, there's no way I'm going home anytime soon. And he just looked at me and he just stood up and woke up. I was like, okay, that was quite weird and random. And I just carried on doing my thing, uh, waiting for the meeting to, to approach. And the next thing, the coach walked in, uh, Hugo Muller. He just looked at me and just shook his head. And I was like, I asked Reinhardt, which is a uh, South African, uh, that plays here as well and I asked him like hey can I do something wrong the weekend because I just feel something is, is not normal because this guy asked me a, a random question the coach just told me for the first time in the morning and just shook his head at me and I was like did I do something wrong in the match or what is it and I just I was confused the whole meeting like I couldn't focus to be honest with you because I was just trying to like figure out like what's happening because it just felt weird for me and yeah, the meeting finished, uh, coaches and everybody stayed behind and they just told me to, to also stay behind and I was like, okay, uh, something must be going on because normally I'm not in the meetings because I'm not one of the senior players. I'm just in the meetings, I listen to what needs to be done on the field and I get prepared and go out. And I was like, okay, what's up? And the coaches told me like, listen, um, it's... It's sad for the club. It's difficult for the club. Uh, but he knows how much it, it means to me. And I was like, okay, just tell me like what's going on. And he said, okay, you, you're leaving this, sun, this, this Saturday to, to fly over to, to Brisbane to, to join up with the Springboks. I stood there and I just looked at all of them and I started, I started laughing because I just thought they were like, fooling around with me or making a joke out of everything. And he told me, no, nah, uh, you're not playing the weekend, you're leaving. Um, so you need to prepare yourself. And obviously, I never had any visas or anything planned out. I wasn't in contact with any of the coaches prior to that meeting. I never knew about anything. And just getting that uh, information from the club, I was like, wow. This is actually quite crazy because I never thought of it because... Yeah, um, our season just kicked off. And I had to start rushing, getting my visas and everything sorted. But the first thing I did was I called my wife. I told her the news. She was excited. I called my dad and my dad just broke into tears. He just, he was overwhelmed by the news, to be honest with you. Um, because he was also thought that, listen, by the move that I made, by going overseas, that my, my Springbok career would probably... Be, be, be gone, it wouldn't be, be happening for me. And the moment I told him that news, the man just broke into tears and just said, well done, congratulations, and just hung up on the phone. I think he was more shocked than what I was, to be honest with you. Um, it was, everything really happened so fast uh, for me. Um, I never expected it, to be honest. Um, I got the limited time to obviously prepare for that, uh, for that first test, which I, I never knew that I was going to be part of. Uh, it also happened so, so weird because uh, I know Rassi Erasmus was having a meeting with, I think, with the captain at that time. And I was going to the lobby to the reception to get a scissors for, for my bag to cut off my cable ties. And he just walks up to me and he's like, uh, welcome. And I was a body feeling in injuries. And I was like, no, I'm... I'm um, all good, no injuries, no no niggles or anything. And he was like, okay, if that's, a, if that's the case, then you're on the bench for the weekend. I just stood there and I was like, wow, is this how things are going? Is this how things are 